We're talking about some, you know, what Canva is, is the ability to express yourself using pictures and colors and, uh, and art. And just, it's a very, 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 very creative way of doing that. Now, one of you also mentioned that people use uh, using, you mentioned using Canva instead of older tools. Yeah. So the other implication, right? The other implication, I said PowerPoint. I'm, a, I'm actually embarrassed to say that I actually did a pretty good job with PowerPoint until I discovered Canva. <laughs> and then I don't know how I actually, I even, I even sent templates in PowerPoint to my team and they kind of, I think they, pro, they're all remote. I think they kind of laughed at me when I first said, like, do you mind if we use Canva? So, no, I'm not sure. What is that? <laughs> uh, so I've been, I've, I've been converted. But the other implication, and I'm getting it, like, what's the world that we're in right now, right now today? And this uptick that you are experiencing and seeing is, do you think that there is an element of wanting to learn something new? right to 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 take this is you know what i'm what i i think that the way to to survive this whole strange thing is to look for ways to thrive right not just survive it <laughs> you want to you want to come out the other side of it a better person you want to learn something now and take something from this wacky experience and the best way to do that is to learn something so in your case do you think that that's what's happening? People are saying, well, what is this thing, right? So how do I learn how to use something new? Yeah, so I mean, with Canva, for example, if you just think about our template and our content library that we have, you can explore that to see, hey, what are multiple different ways that people think about this particular topic, you know, just searching for it, or if you wanted to, you know, just pull it up and scroll through to see what's the latest and greatest that different creators um, are utilizing the Canva platform for and uploading in. And, you know, that's something that's opt-in, of course, uh, to share with others. That's something where you can just generate different ideas um, just based off of using, just logging into Canva and checking out the homepage and, uh, or searching through our different, um, different libraries and so that's something definitely where, you know, what's that spark of inspiration that you need to really start being creative and moving into our editor and creating what you're actually looking for yourself. Um, I think that's an uh, element of the, you know, most brainstorm possible type of uh, searching for inspiration um, that you can do. Um, there's other elements too within Canva, you know, it's a lot of what we have isn't necessarily um, completely brand new. Um, and so it's very familiar relative to other tools too as well that people have used. So there is some, you know, we are to some extent being able to uh, use that familiarity as a way to introduce um, additional options that help with reducing the amount of clicks that you have to, that you have to make. So that drag and drop um, that I mentioned earlier, that's so simple as uh, you have a picture that you found that you really want to use um, there's already you want to put it into a different size shape though and so if you drag and drop it in um, then it'll just fit it automatically into that shape and so you don't have to figure out oh how do I resize this or how do I crop it appropriately how do I remove certain elements of it that I don't want it just does that automatically and so I think that's something where it's a nice little aha moment uh, once you <laughs> see it in our tutorials or any if if you know, you don't, if you're not trying it out yourself or if you're kind of just brainstorming and, and playing around with it, you'll be able to find fairly quickly.